On the 2nd of August 1934, the death of President Hindenburg gave Hitler his chance to take the top spot. Back when Hitler was made Chancellor, there was only one person in Germany superior to him. President Hindenburg. He was the head of state and supreme commander of the army. The only one who could keep the Chancellor in check. But by the summer of 1934, Hindenburg was on his deathbed and Hitler's prize was finally within his grasp. But he had to make sure there wasn't going to be a new president afterwards. So just a few days before Hindenburg dies, he draws up this idea, a law in which if Hindenburg dies, Hitler can amalgamate the posts of chancellor and president and become what is an all-powerful leader called the Führer. The day after the new law was signed, President Hindenburg died. Within two hours, Hitler was made the Führer, the leader. On the same day, the whole army swore an oath of allegiance to him, personally. Diesem Heiligen Eid, diesem Heiligen Eid, dass ich dem Führer, dass ich dem Führer, Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler, the army owes allegiance to what it thinks is the German state, not to an individual. And here is an individual trying to take over the German state. He is saying that he amalgamates the whole German state in his being. Here is the moment when we can talk of a one-party personal dictatorship. Hitler now had complete power over Germany. But for a narcissist with a vision, this still wasn't enough. He now set his sights on expansion and creating a German empire.